Hi, in this video we're going to talk about the administrator settings in the IT portal. If you click your username, so long as it's an administrator, you will see admin settings here in the menu. When you click admin settings, it's going to bring up a pretty large menu of a lot of options. So let's just go through these fairly quickly so that you have an idea of what you're looking at here. Um, first thing at the top is a filter. So if you don't necessarily remember, for example, you want to add a template, you can just type template up top and you will see it filter it out. So that's very helpful to start. Um, going through these sections uh, pretty quick, we have the recovery and purge section. This is basically uh, where deleted items go. They're not actually deleted, they're just kind of held uh, in the recovery and purge section until an administrator goes and deletes them. Uh, groups and types, for the most part, this is where you would uh, define the individual types of objects that you want to have. So devices, for example, if you wanted to add a particular type of device that was not already in the portal, this is where you would go to add it to the table. Um, in addition, this is where you would set up classes. And we have another video about that in our YouTube. Um, other things you may end up setting up here would be company groups um, or contact groups. But the rest of these uh, are mostly related to groups and types like we just demonstrated with devices. Um, security, this is a fairly um, uh, in-depth section, so I won't go too deep into all of this. But uh, the main ones to, uh, to consider, um, authentication being where you would set up SAML or Active Directory authentication. Uh, global ACLs, this is where you would set up your access controls in the portal from the global level. Um, test access is where you would, um, it's basically a query tool to determine um, the permissions that have been set. If you have a ACL that does not seem to be working, you can use test access to figure out what may be conflicting in a system. IP access allows you to restrict or allow certain ranges of IPs. The logs, that's fairly uh, straightforward, user access, admin access, logins, passwords, etc. Um, password policies, these are policies uh, for user login as well as passwords that are stored in the portal. Uh, portal export is part of our export tool, which allows you to keep a offline copy of your portal. Um, using a PowerShell script, it extracts everything to HTML and allows you to have that backup in the event of a disaster recovery situation. Users, this is where you uh, modify, add, um, and delete your users that are in the portal, the ones that have access to the portal. Security groups, this is where users can be added to these groups. Security groups are important because when you create ACLs, usually ACLs are role-based and users can come and go. So security groups are good to create um, for your ACLs so that uh, so that everything is uh, is pretty smooth. You know, if a user were to leave or to change uh, departments, say from a first level help desk to a network administrator, you could simply move them to the new appropriate security group without having to make a lot of individual adjustments on an individual user. Uh, generate API key. This is uh, where you would generate the API key if you have access to the open API in the uh, enterprise version. This is the new rules engine, which is a new feature that's coming. Uh, the site options section, this has a lot of toggles and switches, uh, kind of a general catch-all area for those. Uh, mass rename allows you to rename a lot of objects, um, uh, kind of a batch rename. Forms and templates, these are where you create forms and templates for the portal. Branding is where you would keep uh, or where you determine your which logos you want to use, like you see this one in the corner. This is the logo for this particular instance. Um, integrations is where all of your uh, integrations with ConnectWise or other tools like that would be located, the configurations. Uh, links allows you to add a few little uh, bookmarks to the top of the interface. Scoreboard. Um, we will have another video for that, but a scoreboard essentially is a metric tool to determine how far along you are in the documentation of a particular company. Uh, file repositories, uh, this is an enterprise feature that allows you to essentially map a network drive into your portal. So being able to access 
you know, maybe you have ISO files or drivers or things that your technicians may need on a regular basis and you want them to be able to download them through the user interface. Um, configuration import is another enterprise feature. This allows a tool like KiwiCat tools to, um, to import, say, a config from a firewall into the file repository and then it will use a set of rules to apply it directly to a device so that you have updated configs somewhat automatically. Um, SMTP and notifications this is where you would plug in your mail server and set up notifications. Um, licensing and updates for the on-premises users this is where you would update your portal. Um, for cloud users you really don't have to worry about this. Subscription and billing this is where you keep your um, your billing up information up to date and uh, reconfigure IT portal uh, you can ignore that one. So that is the basics of the uh, administrative settings. If you have any questions, feel free to contact us at support. Thank you.